So we'll go and squeeze this puppy once more. And I'll probably refill things up. Uh, probably off screen. I'm not sure how much I'm going to do today, but we'll see. And uh, I just want to make sure I get through as much of this as I can before I forget what happens next. So we've got the magnifying glass. Makes things appear larger. Cool. And also fry things. Sweet. Have fun. Will do. And you know what? Hmm. <laughs> I'm going to need to get into a fight here pretty soon. Because I think we are getting into a mini boss fight. And after we do the Sacred Forest section, I actually will really enjoy this next part of the game. And for those of you who have played or you know, the, the green energy plant is probably the best part about this game. So we're going to go over here and I think purchase five more five more cards but I don't know what I want to buy since um well actually I think I know exactly what I want to buy first and foremost a couple of those um maybe a few of those and last but not least I should probably buy another fire flower this will be the last time I need to buy it but with that we have just purchased our 200th card from the toads card house emporium galore extravaganza area place which will net us a nice little banner in the town prism uh square the center i don't know whatever that place is the central hub anyways you got some mail for me ah oh, dear mario Ooh, this is the foreman from toad train works as you know i was gonna retire after repairing that train engine the thing is, I fixed it up so good, the Toads upstairs decided to keep the Sunset Express on the tracks because, I mean, why beat a dead horse, right? Which got me thinking, maybe now's not the time for me to retire. Okay. Okay, whatever you say. <laughs> if that old hunk of junk can stay on the tracks, so can I. Phil Collins over here, Jesus. <sighs> when you go on, that's something I needed to hear. Also, a letter from my brother. Hey, big bro, it's your brother, Luigi, tall guy with the green hat. Have you ever seen a door with spinning panels? Oh, you're going to tell me about this nonsense after we've collected every color. Cool, so um, once I've been through the door, it'll have a rainbow one. And we've already seen what this does. And it'll take us to a level that we need to go and color things in with our paint. It's kind of obscure and something we haven't really bothered returning to because there's not really a point to. I guess if I was really thinking ahead, I could have gone to Fort Cobalt the first time around and gotten that door, and then on our second visit there, we could have seen it, but I didn't feel like it, because well, I'm lazy. Anyways, it's here. It's so beautiful. You've collected all 200 battle cards. What are you talking about? No, I didn't. You, that's just the ones I'm supposed to buy, right? 87%. Rock, paper, wizards. Okay. I have no idea what this game's going on about. Let's leave. With the magnifying glass in tow. I think that's the second time I've started a sentence with those exact words. Let's go head off to Sacred Forest. Unfortunately, because I'm a dummy, uh, there is one, one tiny spot that I still need to color in. And the reason I missed it, for those of you who, well, missed it, is because I knocked over a fake tree onto the spot I needed to paint. So that was great. But uh, we can... Go see all of the depressed yellow rescue toads. Apparently have nothing better to do with their kindergarten grade education than just hanging out over there. But we'll enter this place. And enemies are going to be incredibly easy here. You don't need to worry about collecting stuff, getting into fights, unless you're, you're bad and you really want to. But we'll go skip through over here and uh, make our way to the spot. I guess it's not really important. Uh, most of the areas that we've been through already have been completed, so like this place stays all rolled up there, but here we go. Whoop, you, get away. No, no you don't. Okay, I thought I was gonna knock it over. <laughs> okay, <sighs> that was a close one, man. Okay, so let's leave. Uh, Save block over there. We can save with that thing, right? I think, I think you can. And none of the Goombas are gonna be back over here. They're just gonna hang out. <laughs> Lacking the throng and the girth they once had. I don't know. <laughs> I'm tired. But now that we're back over here, gee, I wonder what we're supposed to do. <laughs> this is just sad. Alright. Well, what do you what do you suggest we do, Huey? Huh? If a pipe is too small to enter, we just need to make it bigger. Or we'd make ourselves smaller, right? 
let's just go and do this. We'll make ourselves a piece of card. And, uh, yeah, that'll work, right? That's the way we solve all of our problems here in Prism Island. So, of course, we'll go and strip that. And there we go. And remember, I did put those big flowers there for a reason. So, I just hope it's for the right one. Hey, there we go. I wonder if that magnifying glass can make something else bigger. Whew. We should be able to fit in this bad boy now. Got that right. Took the words right out of my mouth. But this will take us to our final green star. There it is. Man, you've got some luck, Mario. I can't believe we found a paint star so deep in these woods. Yeah, imagine how easily we could have been able to grab it if, you know, that pipe was the right size. What's the matter, Mario? Grab the thing and let's roll like a paint roller. Definitely not <laughs> splatooning over here for anything. I don't see any trouble around here. Maybe I glossed over it. Get it? Gloss. Does paint. Huey, you are worse than I am. Actually, just kidding. Nothing's worse than I am. <laughs> oh, hello. Um. Ah, Mario. Fancy meeting you here. Well, if it isn't the asshole, Mr. Kandig. I've heard so much about your exploits searching for the big paint stars journey here and there. Lord Bowser went to the trouble of scattering the paint stars while I'm doing his hard work. We're being Mario. You may have bested us before, but this one will be different. Okay, so we'll leave this battle looking like a pile of confetti. Awesome. <laughs> I've sized you up, Mario, but my magics may size you down. Oh boy. God forbid. Oh yeah, he's gonna shrink us for sure. I mean, <laughs> like you wish you were never painted. Now that is kind of uh, unusual. <laughs> Big words for little can, but we have to take every precaution. It is Mario. So with the fury of the Koopa Magics, we are fighting the witch bitch himself. Kickity caw, kickity coo. Make Mario the size of a shrew. Wait, aren't you a shrew? Oh lord, whatever shall we do? It's almost like you always pull this shtick. What is this, World 4 of Yoshi's Island? <laughs> it's itsy bitsy little Mario. Let's see you stun some Goombas now, you greedy little clean snatcher. True power needs not material wealth. All right, who the fuck wrote a novel for you, my good friend? So what he does here is he makes our inventory entirely invisible. So this is why I recommended stocking up on some things in the front of it. And you know what? Just to <laughs> have ourselves a little fun, I suggest we play a little game and we do the thing where maybe I'll choose a thing at random. As long as it's not the compass, or maybe the photograph will be fine. I'll take this one, and we'll we'll see what we made there. It's red and yellow, so hopefully that's good, and we'll see what we get here. Yes, yes, the charcoal grill, awesome. That's actually really good. So by being able to deal some fiery damage here, this is gonna be some good stuff. Yeah, it's doing quite a bit. I think we would be able to kill him with three of them. Like, we didn't even need the thing. We could try. I think Kamek is still affected by things. I've never tried it, though. Usually bosses don't like to be. No, he's gonna stick around. All right. What a trooper. <laughs> God damn it. How's it going? <laughs> oh, he's not dead yet. Of course he's not. That's all right. I kind of figured he wouldn't be. Okay, that's fine because this next attack, uh, Koopa T Kong, what is your hand? Whoops, it's gone. Oh no, you asshole. So depending on how many turns it takes for you to beat this guy, um, he will do different things to your hands, and it kind of goes over the course of the game where whenever he would randomly interject himself in a battle, um, oh here we go. Um, he'll do different things. Sometimes he'll make you only have worn shoes or something, but he's forcing us to battle spin here. And I think we can do a replica, but I think the fire flower is actually going to be good enough. So let's go and pay and collect it. There we go. So that's not too bad. I was hoping to get a perfect fight, but I think maybe it doesn't let you. Because <laughs> the barbecue is supposed to be pretty powerful, but um, I don't know if the third big fire flower would have killed. So. That's okay. We'll just do this and let it be done with. Oh, there we go. Huh? No, but ow! I was so busy tormenting Mario that I failed to realize my color has completely drained. Beautiful. 
is the words I'm now speaking on my last quick. Can I say something profound? Uh, did I lock my front door? No. Crazy Mario, with my last ounce of power, I'll trap you in this forest forever. I'm gonna make you so big you'll never fit in the pipe again, plumber boy. Oh wow, God forbid. Oh no. Um. <laughs> oh, I guess I only had enough power left to turn you back to normal size. Shoot. Cool. Well, thanks for all of my cards. Um, hopefully they're in the order that you left them. <laughs> my power drained. My one striking visage, so pale and colored. Or visage. I don't know. Like a bleached boo riding a beached blooper. Say that ten times fast. I'm good. All right, you can do it anyway. You're one tough cookie, Mario. Are you going to die yet? My Koopa magics were once called a veritable all-you-can-eat buffet of chaos by the Prisma Times. Not enough to stop you. I guess he did kind of set into motion a series of events that led us here, so thank you. And for that, he concedes defeat and gives us our fourth card slot, which we're definitely going to need. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> With this, you'll be able to play an additional card in every combat turn. I play my Pot of Greed. With this, it allows me to draw one more time. <laughs> oh, God. If you guys haven't seen that video, it's hilarious. I've seen, like, at least three different people reference that lately, and it was kind of incredible. Or it's just every time that the Pot of Greed is mentioned in the Yu-Gi-Oh! series, it's kind of amazing. Because they explain what it does every time. With this card, I can draw two more cards. It's so dumb. But it's hilarious. Anyways, by collecting our 400th max point, we can finally finish off the Sacred Forest, and I think we are 100% up to date on every area we have discovered in this game so far. There is nothing that we have missed in any level we have visited. Everything's at 100%, except for Rochambeau Temple. But I think before we end things off today, I would love, I would love nothing more to end a visit the green energy plant. I love this place so much. Ah, oh, it's so good. Cool. So Sacred Force is 100% and... I just want to double check. Yeah, it looks like everything has a nice little flag on it. Beautiful. Now, ladies and gentlemen. <gasps> oh, this place is so good. It's probably the easiest place in the entire game to get 100% of the paint filled in. But... I don't know, that might just be my opinion, man. But, um, yeah, there's only one green mini paint star to find here, and it actually is quite simple, but there's way more to the level than you might expect, so be wary of that. Over here, we've got ourselves a pipe. I want to go in there, but there's kind of a sideways alley here. That's kind of weird. Uh, how do I... There we go. Perfect. So, as one could imagine, uh, in a single sitting, two Luigi sightings? What is that? We have found, oh dear brother, once again, urinating in a public place. <laughs> He's like, uh, bro, don't tell anyone, that's really embarrassing. <laughs> I never grew out of it, okay? <laughs> and there we go. Beautiful. He's going to run off, and that will not be the last that we see of our intrepid brother. So no worries there. Cool. Also, the music here is kind of cool. I feel like we've listened to it in a different level, but... I can't think of what it is. We'll be seeing it a lot in the next two levels. I think it's Mondo Woods, actually. But for this one, no. We get something much better. Oh, what? Locked, huh? All right, let's try knocking. That should have been the first thing we did. Hmm. Oh, what? Um. Huey, are you, are you okay? Uh, Mario, help! What I have all in the paint I need? All right, I guess we'll do it. Ah, <sighs> Huey always gotta be the damsel in distress. 